Hello students, let us try a problem based on kinematics in this video. So in the question it is given that men are running in a line along a road with a velocity 9 km per hour behind one another at equal intervals of 20 meters. Now there are some cyclists which are also riding along the same line in the same direction at 18 km per hour but with equal intervals of 30 meters. We have to find the speed with which an observer must travel along the road so that whenever he meets the runner, he also meets a cyclist. So let us redraw the scenario which is mentioned in the problem. So according to the problem, we have few people who are running on a straight road with a speed of 9 km per hour. With a distance of 20 meters between them. So the distance between these two persons given the problem is 20 meters. Also, their speed is mentioned in the problem to be equal to 9 km per hour, which on conversion will give us the value of 2.5 meter per second. So this is the velocity with which all the individual persons are running. Now we simultaneously have cyclist on this similar track moving the same direction but with velocities of 18 km per hour let me draw this scenario properly so on the same track we have few cyclists also Moving with a speed of 18 km per hour, which on conversion will give us the value of 5 m per second. The only change in this scenario is that the distance between two subsequent cyclists is 30 meters rather than 20 meters. So we will have a second cyclist a little bit far behind with same speed of 5 m per second, but at a distance of 30 meters. Now we have to find the speed with which a person Suppose a person starts from this point, we have to find the speed with which the person should run in the opposite direction such that whenever he meets the person, whenever he meets another person, at the same instant, he also crosses the cyclist. So let us now find the time when this person, let us call this person as person A or person P meets the person A. With the help of relative motion, we can say that this time t1 will be given as the relative distance divided by the relative velocity of approach which is equals to 2.5 plus u. Let us now find the time when this person p meets the cyclist c1. So again with the help of relative motion we can say that the time when this person will meet this cyclist is equals to relative distance divided by relative speed that is 5 plus u. Now according to the scenario given in the problem we have to find the value of u for which both these times are equal. So equating both these values and simplifying for u we can find the final value of u which comes out to be equal to 2.5 meter per second which on conversion will give us the value of 9 kilometer per hour. This is our final desired result. Thank you.